Hey guys, Lego News here. Definitely not here for a total random video. You know I should be revising for my exams I have on Sunday, which straight up sucks. But holy shit, Lego randomly decided to reveal the Lego No Way Home set along with a few other sets, which I don't give a shit about. But oh my god, dude, this set is just perfect. And fun fact, uh, when I first saw these photos, um, I was on the toilet. I was just sitting on, on the toilet minding my own business. I don't know why I had to mention that. I don't know. I'm weird. But I am just so happy Lego finally made this set. And I'm going to be breaking down all of like the small things I noticed. And this is my very first Lego set breaking down video or whatever you want to call it. Whatever. But yeah, it's going to be super scuffed. But... Anyway, guys, I just want to talk about this set because this set is just, like I said, amazing. So the set number is 76261, ages 10 and up, and it has a total piece count of 900 pieces, and it'll go for a whopping 100 bucks. I don't know how much that is where I live, neither I don't care, but yeah. Anyways, let's talk about the big thing about this set. The big thing that will make everyone and their mom go to the Lego store to buy this set, that being... The minifigures. So I'm of course going to be talking about the two main figures everyone's going to be going for for this set. That being Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Oh my god dude, Lego finally did it. They finally remade their the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure and made a proper Andrew Garfield Spider-Man figure that isn't a Comic Con exclusive or any of that BS, they finally, finally did. Oh my God, dude. I think these are some of, if not the best Spider-Man figures Lego has ever made. No question. We also have Tom Holland in his integrated suit returning back from whatever that that 2021 set that came out for the movie was. Um, but yeah, still has an amazing printed torso, amazing printed legs and reuses the exact same head from the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man figure from the Marvel CMF series. So now talking about the three main villains from the movie that are in this set and unfortunately this is where some of my nitpicks come in because some of these figures are just, I don't know man, they're just meh. So Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. Now this was a figure I was really excited to see LEGO remake because it's been so long since they haven't done a new Willem Dafoe Green Goblin figure. And I was really hoping that this one was going to be good. And this one just seems bland. Like, it just seems so bland. No leg printing. No arm printing. No arm printing. Under, um, that, um, that I can understand. But no leg printing. No, pr no purple hood or anything. Like, I don't know what happened here. And I'm also not a big fan of, like, the pumpkin bum, but... And that's just a small thing, but I don't know, man, because if you look at Green Goblin's suit in the movie, it you can clearly see that there's a lot missing. Like, of course, he has the purple scarf. Yeah, of course, he has the goggles, but there's just something missing. I feel like if Lego could have added, like, a hood or a satchel, I think that would have made this figure a hundred times better. Like, I wasn't expecting Lego to do something like how Buzz Brickyard did with his Green Goblin figure for his Noe, for his custom Noe home sets. I wasn't really expecting something like that. That would have been amazing, but, dude, I don't know what happened with this figure. He also does have a brick built collider, which actually seems pretty cool. I don't know why a lot of people are hating on that. I personally like it. And he also does have a dual side face that captures and resembles Willem Dafoe perfectly. I think this is one of LEGO's best printed faces. It just captures the menacing look of Willem Dafoe and Green Goblin. It's just, I just, that face print just looks amazing. Now moving on to Alfred Molina's Doc Ock. And I do have one nitpick with this figure. That being the trench coat. The trench coat should have been dark green instead of a gray. It's not gray in the movie. I don't know what Lego was thinking. I feel like if they could have gone with a dark green, I feel like it would have made this figure one of the best figures of the entire set, but that's just one nitpick. Um, but overall, the torso design and the leg printing is fantastic. Love the design. 
and I do love the face print they did for Doc Ock, which resembles Alpha Molina perfectly. I really love that face print. And I feel like the hair could have been changed with a Harry Potter, a Harry Potter hair piece. But overall, I use that hair piece on my do on my custom Doc Ock, which just works in general. Just that hair piece just works in general. And the tentacles are like the claws do look pretty cool. They're just like the senior tentacles that Lego has been doing Doc Ock for with has been doing when with for Doc Ock like for the past few years now. It works, but overall, yeah, Doc Ock pretty good figure. I feel like the the trench coat should have been dark green though. Now moving on to the final villain of the set, the villain that I have no nitpicks with, that being Jamie Foxx's Electro and. Bro, Lego nailed this figure. Lego perfectly nailed this figure to the face design, the, the torso printing, the leg printing, the electricity effect coming from his back, the electricity, like um, pieces coming out of his hands, like it just works. And like you can see on his face, it does kind of have like that star design. I, I don't know why Lego could have made a piece like that, but it's understandable. The hair piece from the Sam Wilson Captain America figure from the CMF from the Marvel CMF series works perfectly. I that hair piece works perfectly for this figure, and I have no nitpicks with this figure at all. And of course, along with this set, we do have Doctor Strange, which is just a rehash like from the from the Multiverse of Madness set. Which I don't blame Lego for reusing this figure. I don't blame them, even though it's not accurate. I mean, they made like the Doctor Strange figure for No Way Home like in 2021. So I don't know why they had to reuse this figure. But it's fine. It's cool. Um, you can just go get that set like for thirty bucks. That has like that Doctor Strange figure in America Chavez and Wong, like from Multiverse of Madness. But also, this figure is going to be coming in a poly bag, which I might get when it comes out. I don't know. We'll see. But overall, but overall, yeah, nothing really special. But he is missing the cloak because Ned Leeds has the cloak, which is pretty cool. You know, Ned being the greatest sorcerer of all time, which that's pretty cool that Lego did that. That's pretty cool that they kind of showed Ned. In the set pictures with him having the cloak that was pretty cool we also do have mj falling to her death like similar to how gwen stacy did in amazing experiment 2. seriously with all dark jokes aside mj is just a basic figure and i think we'll be able to recreate the scene where um andrew garfield's fireman saves mj i think that'll be a really cool scene to recreate since like they're like these new transparent um like um like i don't know Posing pieces? I don't know what they're called. Let me know in the comments. Overall, MJ says a basic figure, which is pretty cool. Overall, I think that does it for the minifigures. Now, finally, let's talk about the set itself, which does have a lot of detail. Now, I know a lot of people were expecting this set to kind of be similar to um, how Buzz Brickyard did or how many superheroes today make their sets, but this still works. Is Unfortunately, we didn't get the, um, the, the Statue of Liberty itself, but that's we made this set way more expensive, but it's still cool. But overall, let's talk about the set itself. So the set itself is just a Statue of Liberty hat, which I don't blame Lego for doing it. Like I said, if they made the full Statue of Liberty build with the Captain America shield, I that was that set would have gone like for three hundred bucks, which I fully understand why Lego did this because it's cheap. Because it would have been because it would be, because it's cheaper to get the villains and the Spider-Man, which is still good. Um, the Statue of Liberty hat I think is kind of almost a similar design to how. It was in the Lego Movie 2 Apocalypse Burke set with the Statue of Liberty. I, th I think that's really cool that they kind of reused like some elements from that set for like, the Statue of Liberty hat. I think that's so cool. And they did recolor it in a dark brown bronze like color. Definitely not a brown color because like a, because brown pieces just straight up suck. But it's good that Lego finally. It was good that Lego kind of they went for this color scheme for the Statue of Liberty. I see a lot of people like um, make their own Statue of Liberty. For no way home, for no way home, like in sand green, which is not accurate, but this does give like that kind of like that rusty look that the Statue of Liberty has in the movie. The set does, of course, have the scaffolding, which the Spider Man run on or like fight on. That the I think the scaffolding looks really cool. Um, it does kind of like have like that construction look to it, which is really nice. And I just like how love how there are multiple pull pieces that the minifigures can grip onto, to where Doc Ock can grip onto. We're gonna have a bunch of web pieces, you know, you can have MJ falling, and that's just a really cool touch to this set, which I actually really do love, and I can see a lot of people doing a lot of posing with this. And I can also see a lot of kids having fun just posing their different the different minifigures, just just having a fun time with this set and just posing all the minifigures on the scaffoldings. I feel I think that's really cool. 
The set also does have a few play features with the back of the head opening up, which shows the Lego Sanctum Sanctorum set, which is pretty cool. And you can see very closely in the sky, you can see the multiverse cracking, which adds, which is a really cool detail. This is really accurate since Doctor Strange came back from the Grand Canyon, but this is still a cool feature and it's still a cool Easter egg. I just added the Lego Sanctum Sanctorum set. And of course, you can also see on our portal on top of the scaffolding, which Doctor Strange comes from, and he encounters netted MJ. And then he also does have the box or like the, the cube or just whatever it is, which is a sand green Minecraft head, which has stickers. Now the top of the head can also open up, which you can see Sandman's hand. And I forgot to mention that this set does have Sandman, but not really because it just has hands. It just has Sandman's hands. Just... I don't know why Lego could have like not made a small brick built version of Sandman, or it could have just given us a, a like a, a tan Sandman figure. I, I don't know why they couldn't do that, but it's understandable. It's still cool we have like something related to Sandman. Uh, I think it would have been really cool to have like a big fist, but still whatever. This works, and I think you could also recreate the scene where Toby cures Sandman, and I think that'll be a really cool scene to recreate because I guess this set does have one of the cures. Now we really can't make out which cure it is i'm believing it's sandman's i'm believing but i don't know i don't know it's just, that's just speculation but yeah and also by the way i forgot to mention um no lizard in the set unfortunately i don't know why lego could have just not made like a quick lizard fig but still whatever i hope we can get him like in a spin-off set or something uh, or maybe not or maybe never get him because we never had a lizard figure and i thought this set could have been like the set to give us or finally give us a lizard figure but that didn't happen plus it's not really important that would have been a cool but whatever so that's pretty much gonna be it for my first long lego set breakdown video hope you all enjoyed this video uh, i can't wait for this set i'm uh, most likely gonna save my money up on this set it comes on august 1st and it's most likely gonna go for 33 70 something or whatever i don't know um but i'm most likely gonna get this i'm gonna have to make room for it because this set is a must-have and before i close off this video I'm gonna answer one question that some of you might be asking me. Uh, Lego News, where is the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 showcase? And uh, let me tell you guys, those figures are taking a crap load of time. And I start exams tomorrow in the time of recording this video, which just straight up sucks. But the figures are almost done. I'm almost finished with these figures. And I, I don't care if the movie's gonna be out like for a month by the time I release the showcase. As long as I get the showcase out, that's what matters. And after that, I'm going straight into The Flash and then Spider-Verse, which fun fact, Spider-Verse comes out the weekend before my biology exam, which so help me God. But overall, that's pretty much gonna be for this very long video. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if I missed anything now in the comment section below. And this is probably my funniest video to date. Let me know what you, let me know if you agree with me in the comment section below. So overall, that's gonna be it. I'm done editing this video. Like I'm just straight up done with it. And I'm going to go probably revise or just work on the Guardians 3 figures. And uh, yeah, overall, this is Lego News signing out. Have a great day. Have a great day, everyone.